Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Lu, Seth Geis, and from the Villager Scar Studios, John McTavish. How you guys doing? I'm doing well, man. I could use a little bit more of that Dunbarton tobacco coffee cup, though. There you go, buddy. <laughs> I uh, I did not get any Dunbarton tobacco coffee cup love. Uh, this is It's this... on its way, John. It's stuck in the city of industry. Is it really on its way? Oh, it's a, it, it got released actually from the city of industry uh, oh. this morning. And, okay. and interestingly enough, I was tracking the, the company that actually hands it off to them. And they were like, you yeah, no, 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 we handed it to them four days ago. They just haven't updated the tracking information. I'm like, Oh, it just reflects the fact that they're, the, that they're liars and they yeah, don't tell exactly. the truth. Um, I've been looking forward to this cigar review for five months, I think four since months, July, four and right? half months since July. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, this cigar is the Ace Prime Maria Lucia, and we are using the Ace Prime name because that was the cigar that was released and the name of the brand at the time that we purchased it. So it will remain that way until we purchase another version. Um, all right. This cigar is a Robusto Extra, five and a quarter by 54. Uh, comes out of the Tobacco Letter of Pichardo Factory in Nicaragua. Uh, wrappers at Connecticut Broadleaf. Uh, binder is uh, Ecuadorian Sumatra and Ecuadorian HBN 92. Uh, filler is from Nicaragua, the Dominican Republic, and Peru, uh, blended by Luciano Morelos. Uh, price point is twelve dollars and eighty cents, and the cigar was released in August of two thousand and twenty-two. So, with all that out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like with the cigar? Yeah, uh, this was. Uh, I thought this was a consistently good cigar. It's for me. This is you know broadleaf done, Connecticut broadleaf done right. Um. You know, so it, it, it kind of hits all the spots for me, like, you know, nice, medium, full body, uh, also meaningful strength as well. Um, it's really chewy. Uh, it's got this really nice, like, dark chocolate note. Um, and then uh, it has, it's like, it's, it's meaty tasting as well. Um, it has just a matter of, right amount of this, like, like gritty earth aspect to it. Uh, and they all work really well together. Um, and, you know, uh, so from like first puff to last puff, uh, it was consistent throughout the whole time. And uh, yeah, I, I really liked it, like to the point where I would actually buy a box of this, um, which I think I've really said. I think the only other, well, maybe I've only said it like two, three times in this whole us having developing palettes for the last, what, three, four six years. years? Six years? Just kidding. Six years. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. What were your thoughts? Listen, I I really enjoyed it. Um, it started off showing this it had this mocha quality and this like hot chocolate qual Mexican hot chocolate quality. So it was like, caught. I mean, it was just really, it was balanced. It was creamy. There were some coffee notes. There were some chocolate notes. Um, medium to medium full and strength and body. Um, a little bit of spice. It was just really you know, pleasant throughout, um, the final third went down just a little bit. Um, but still, you know, it was really enjoyable. Good burn, good draw. John. Yeah. Hard, hard for me to argue with anything that's been said so far. Uh, like I said, we, we, we smoked a few of these at the PCA in Las Vegas. And I'll come back to that after the recap, but, um, yeah, like everyone said, uh, there's some really nice dark tones to it, molasses, spices, chocolate, um, just enough sort of chewy leather and earth to add accent flavors instead of taking over on the palate. Um, just, you know, really consistent first and second, third, second, third, very similar flavor profile, maybe a little bit more wood than the first third. Um, I did find like Seth, the, the last third kind of fell off a little bit. I mean, still, you know, almost there, just not quite there. So earth, wood and leather. And then chocolate, but uh, it just didn't harmonize in the same way. And I would, I will say that the, uh, I thought the ones we smoked in Vegas, although it's Vegas, so who knows, uh, that last third was there. So maybe it's just a timing issue. I don't know. Um, burn was nearly perfect. Had, had a bit of an uneven burn. I had to do a touch up in the, um, in the sort of halfway point and uh, draw had just a slight amount of snugness to it. So like two notches. So I had to, had to dock that, but uh, overall good. And yeah, I'd happily smoke this again. Aaron, what about you? Yeah, for me, this grocery with uh, a heavy dark oak, some black pepper, and some earth. Uh, oak gained a light toast note fairly quickly. And then the second third saw a light creaminess join, and then later a, a chocolate syrup note. Uh, and then the final third saw the chocolate to part and a granular cotton candy sweetness kind of joined for a short time. Um, 
I thought the cigar started well, had a good amount of body. Uh, this kind of continued through the second, third when the chocolate syrup sweetness joined that I don't think I got, I've gotten before, I've gotten very often. Um, and then the final third dropped a level as that sweetness departed. But um, I thought it was a pretty impressive cigar. Um, like John said, we smoked it in Vegas, but I, ne I can never, I can never get a good handle on a cigar in Vegas. Like I, when I'm in Vegas, I'm, I'm mechanically smoking. Like I'm smoking to be social. I can never like, I can't like get anything there because it's just, I think there's too much of a shock to my system in regards to the humidity difference. And that like my lips are like are chapped like after I'm there for like 12 hours. And I was like, I just can't ever like, I can't so gradually like, get into it. Yeah. So it's just so I'm, thirsty. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, ha having come back, smoke this cigar, um, really enjoyable, had a nice balance of body and strength, uh, got really strong flavors. Um, I'd definitely be up for smoking this cigar again in the future if it's going to continue to, you know, kind of be, you know, what it is now in future iterations. Um, so we'd have to see, you know, what this that's like. Uh, I think this is a PC exclusive. So I, what I've heard is that typically uh, this would then come out in subsequent years in different Vitolas. So if that happens and the blend kind of st can stay intact, we'll see what so, that looks like. So but. Aaron, really two people on this Review shouldn't have smoked it then, is what you're saying. Uh, because they didn't attend the PCA? Because they didn't attend the show. Sure, yeah. I yeah. guess that would that'd be way, one way to look at it. You're such a... <laughs> it makes it feel any better. I was the lowest one on the totem pole, too. So, <laughs> Yeah. Um, all right, so let's get into the scores. We're going to start at the top with June at 7.17. I gave Ooh, it a 6.72. John Damn. gave it a 6.57, and Seth gave it a 6.32. So June had that 7.17 matchup. Great. Spider box. Yeah, my, my six seven two matches up well. I mean, uh, good flavor profile, really good construction. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, get, getting over the you know halfway point in the sixes is kind of rare for me. So it's nice to have a couple of these in kind of popping up for us. So uh, yeah, definitely it's a, a scar I'd smoke again. Price points is not ridiculous, twelve eighty, so it's good. Um, all right, John, six point five seven. Yeah, there you go. All the, all the people in the YouTube comments are like, how come you don't review good cigars? How come you don't review? There you go. There you go. It's yeah. a good cigar. It's a good cigar. The score matches up well. I actually think it was held back a little bit by the by the burn and the draw. Um, I probably should have been up in the six, six, five, six, seven range. Um, happily smoke this one again, no question. All right, Seth, six point three two. Yeah, listen, I I would definitely smoke it again. Um yeah, I'd probably buy it, it, I'd probably buy a box of these. Um you're it's crazy. really just it's just a fun it's it's a really easy smoke um and it's 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 really rewarding as well um i kind of felt like i i kind of walked away i'll go into it we went into it, aaron's like i really like this cigar um and i was like let's see where this goes because usually aaron and i are not the same and i i smoked and i was like wow this is really this is just really enjoyable um i really like the packaging on it um it's kind of a shame about the whole thing but I think what I said in the thing, I was like, I'd have to look at my past reviews and scores, but it's, I mean, is this possibly the best PCA exclusive we've ever? Oh yeah. I think smoked? By, across by the, far. Uh, for across it, four of us. Yes. hundred percent is the best. And, and it's just, right? it's really, there's something to be said about that. And I think PCA needs to, if other people kind of feel the same way, the way, the way we do, um, I think it'd be worth PCA's, while to recognize okay maybe this is how it's done um and yeah. i'm not saying make a blend like this but i don't know put some fucking time into it like luciano did whoa, whoa so, put some time into it what yeah <laughs> i Shit. thought you just bring something Shit, off bro. the the oh yeah i just went there that's just ready a week Use before. Listen, I, have to, I have to go i have to go party. i have to go really hard on all the other people since i wasn't at pca i don't have the right <laughs> to smoke it so now i got to defend the fact that i did smoke it so <laughs> yeah all right final thoughts time yeah, I'm, I mean, I uh, I'm with Seth. Uh, this this is what a PCA exclusive should be. I mean, the whole point is to bring totally. bangers. Um, you know, I'd like to see. I'd like to see consistently. You know, it's not it's not the TAA. Don't just bring your leftovers. Bring you know the cigars that you really want to have people show up to the show for, and this would be one of those. You know what else was really good about this being a P? Can you pull up the cigar again? Yeah, pull the photo cigar. No little stupid PCA TA reference. It's just boom. 
and I'm sure it's on the box, but like the band is just, it is what it is. You know, you didn't have to put the TA up there. You know what I mean? Like you look at all the TA cigars and it's just, there's the native American or the indigenous chief um, who we killed with smallpox. And then PCA puts their little, you know, they probably want their little things, but I just like that. It's just, it's a cigar. And while it's, while it's exclusive for PCA, it's, it's not about PCA. It's about the cigar. Is, isn't that it too. nice that he uses a font that's clear and not like on a background so you can that's actually a pretty, read it? That's easily. a pretty, that's a pretty band. I think that's yeah. like, I think that's a good band. Mm -hmm. I hang that up. It yeah, makes his daughter, me think of his daughter drew that picture. Oh, really? Of his grandma. Oh, no of, his, of his mother, I think. Oh, it no. it's and it makes me think of cool. Yeah, it makes me think of like the um artistic stuff LaFleur did. Um yeah. yeah, I like that. I didn't know that it's cool. Yeah. Nice. nice. All right, wherever you're catching this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh read the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. Follow us on the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. PCA exclusive, son.